Hey, Mr. Random Pop Culture News for here once again, game Mr. Manny Wolverine. Please, you guys, rest in your own sort of intros and outros for the channel for my Twitter, Instagram, all other social media platform. Links to description box down below, cartel on the side, and links to a little hashtag symbol if I remember to put it there. Anyhow, anyways, uh, one thing I want to say before I do start this video is that, man, it's wild. I didn't even talk about do that much. I know there's a lot of. Uh, Real crazy wild shit going on with KSI, Logan Paul, and Mr. Beast. But KSI, he's getting crucified out there. I know it's an exaggerated thing to say, but I don't know if the Twitter bots are destroying him on the internet. I'm not coming into his defense either at all, period. But he laughed at it. He laughed at the whole thing. I would have did a reaction with him. I watched him my own personal time. That dude's like a millionaire billionaire. He's probably got his own boxing company and movie company in the UK now. So he doesn't even have to do YouTube anymore. He can just do his own thing like how Markiplier Beauty Pie did. So... <laughs> He, he doesn't have to do it ever again. He's got his own actual IRO company that can keep generating more and more and more money. So he's good for life. I always thought, yeah, granted, yeah, he might have been a little bit of troll POS sometimes, but he was the funniest out of the three. I liked him and Mr. Beast a little bit compared to Logan Paul. You know how I feel about the dude. And the old, old history. I know I don't personally have him, but him and his scumbag brother, Jake Paul, I never liked at all. He always left a bad taste in my mouth since I was like 25, 26 years old, way back in the day. It was like 2015 or 16 when I first heard about these dudes. They just they always annoyed the crap from me. Their, their persona, their whole demeanor just annoyed the living shit out of me. But KSI didn't. I know he's mainly for younger Gen Z, Gen Alpha kids, but he was always a funny ass MF or dude. A hilarious, beautiful piece of work art. Funny ass freaking guy, man. He always made me laugh my freaking ass off back in the day, my mid late 20s, my, when I was working both my hotel casino jobs, not just sort of one, so. There's that. <laughs> I heard about this dude way back in 2013, 14 too, so even way before I knew who the hell like freaking Logan Paul or Mr. Beast even was. Cause they're more for like Gen Z, Gen Alpha kids more than they are for my old millennial ass age. <laughs> but anyways, hello boss, Chupacabras. And there's a new mission short, so three, two, one, let's get it. Let's go. I might do another video on this. I know this Friday or Saturday Digital Circus is going to be coming up, but that's from the Glitch Studios instead of Vivzy Pop. So kind of the same concept. Let's go. There's one that's truly good one. Links down below, description box below if you want to see your own time. I'm putting it in normal speed too. It should be fun to check out All right. Like nice Mango is probably going to be here in the United States, either half of here in Nevada, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, maybe a little bits and pieces of Louisiana, I doubt it. Or the actual T1 or the other parts of Mexico. Cause that was a real, real old story. My great grandmother's side, my mother's side, he's sick because they're Mexican on their side. My dad's side, my Puerto Rican side, they never really talked about that. That's more of a Mexican mythology story, Chupacabras. Don't take us too long to. What the f? What the fuck are these things? I want to say these are earth goats, sir. Ah, I don't care how great earth they goats. are, they are in my way. Ah. <laughs> oh, man, I already. Blowing crap up already. Hold on one sec. Right, sorry about that, guys. My camera glitched out. Let's see that. Come on, game. We lost the element of surprise. Let's just get him tomorrow. You got it, sir. Yeah, Let's go, Billy. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to blow. Oh, he's going to What? <laughs> the bathroom uh, occurs. Uh, what? No way. Oh, that's close. What is that? Only a hundred pesos to see a real chupacabra. Come by me. Last month. A chupa what? Look, buddy, I'll have you know that I am a dignified. No hablo inglés. What? You were just speaking. Everyone, <laughs> watch this monstro suck the blood from the goat. <laughs> Asshole. The 
only sucking I do is on cocks. Oh, not that kind. Pussies. Fuck. Damn it, I'm doing a bit. And cloacas. Cloacas. Now, if you don't mind, I'm, oh, I'm going to put you in the fucking ground. Hang on. <laughs> Sorry, this full bits I was always trying to Fuck me. Oh, no. That's bad. That was a version. All right. We got to secure the scene. We heard that there's a real chupacabra here. Yes, over here. 100 pesos, please. Senor, we are with the government. 100 pesos. Oh, right. are you serious? So, uh... Ooh. How much is that? Five dollars and sixty-nine cents. Uh, you have any cash on you? Who has cash anymore? You paid the tip with cash at brunch the other day. Yeah, that's all I had. Why don't you pay him? I bought us the coffee this morning. Are you really pulling that card in front of this fine man and his fine coats? Eh. <laughs> no, what? I really never had cash in my life. Hey, hey. Yeah, I know I killed some of your family earlier, but look, if you help me out of this little pickle, I'll make it up to you, little fella. So, oh. can you take off? Oh, fuck! Oh, Stupid goat! Ball you insult my goat! Oh. You pay with your life! Oh, they got him a flat tire then. That sucks. Oh, the... Jesus. Oh, dear God. Stephen Gunn! I'd love Hey, that a boy. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Hey, I'm good. Good shit. Cool. remember me? <gasps> it's him! Get him! Yeah, yeah. 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 Something bad, I bet. Ooh. Oh, that's that old, like, indie game, Cult of the Lamb reference. I never played it, but I've seen it before. Oh, no. Ah, yeah, when I come out with Pinata, it's Pinata stuff. I've done one, I've tried ten times in the world. Huge Blackest game. I don't know how they race entries. How they race entries, black, white, Asian. Air Middle Eastern countries have that, but Hispanic Latino culture, especially Mexican culture, they would do that little like, dale, 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 something la misma, o te le lo siente, es un mi camino. They do it like that. When they do the, the whacking with a stick. I think the other race of necessities probably do a lot more now, especially Texas, California. There's shits on a DEI issue there, and it gets really annoying as fuck for, no offense to LGBTQIA people, but it does after a while. But yeah, that, that was some fun stuff. I like the music too. That was crazy, man. That was some unbelievable stuff. Oh, wow. That was a lot of money. That was good. Really actually. You guys believe me. I always had my heart. I don't know if you can make it. He did an amazing ass freaking cool job. More to come. More to come. Cool stuff. Yeah. Thoughts, views, opinions, speculations, all that other good stuff. My lord. Oh, my freaking lord, dude. 
obviously, I always say the music and animation is good, but who knows? At this point, like, <laughs> I didn't know they were going to do that reference at the end, the Cult of the Lamb. Like, I, I never played that game. There's no way in hell I'm never going to play that game. Heck no. There's a lot of old school satanic. No World Order Bathroom symbol, even though they got Bathroom symbolism there, but they make fun of it a lot more than support it. That's the thing that's funny about Hell of a Boss. Um, but I will say this, my god. And I expect this to be a crazy turn. I'm gonna mute it for a little bit too. You know, I probably already got claimed already, but whatever, it's the bot that's probably doing that most. Not a human. Hold on. There was some parts in here I didn't notice though, man. How the heck does the bathroom explode, but like the other thing still stays the same? <laughs> and then, of course, it makes the sexual innuendo references. I'm not surprised about any of that mess at all. And he wants 500 pesos. Yeah, because I remember over there when I'm just, last time I went to Mexico, I was like 2010. It's like 16 years ago almost, the last one. 2009 or 10, 15, 16 years ago. And a lot of that stuff is really, really extra low over there, man. It's like. Like five hundred dollars, five hundred pesos, probably like ten bucks or twenty dollars over there. Sad. So the old the economy got out there, but it's happened in America too. But I'm not gonna get too deep into that though. And then he dresses up like a freaking chupacabra thing, <laughs> and then he starts blasting on everyone too. And then they take their freaking fake FBI, CIA, DNA, NSA badge or whatever, their government badge, their men in black badge. And that part was crazy. Some people I didn't read in the comments, but I read two or three of them. Some people are saying it was a Cult of the Lamb reference. Like, I didn't know that because there's no way in hell I'm ever playing that game. I know some people really, really love that shit. Me, I'm not into that. You know, the way he just spits that out is disgusting. And then they put a cat out of nowhere. I'm surprised they didn't put a dog there, too. That would have been crazy. <laughs> you guys have an honorary badge. Guys, that's cool. It feels like some old school deviant or Tumblr shit from back in the day. You get a badge on this. You get a badge on that. You get a virtual badge on this. You get a virtual badge on that. So it kind of gave me some old school nostalgia vibes there, honestly. And that's really about it. And like, uh, of course, that's weird that Millie Chick was in there and Luna. I wish those two would have been there this time in the shorts. I wanted to do in all these shorts because I guess they're getting bored with making a full on episode. So it's just better for them to do four or seven minutes of episodes instead of whole 23 minutes. Which is good for me. It saves a lot more time and energy on my phone and all that. But let's get on to the series strict news now. And, and I got a little internet news too. Video game industry that I've talked about in a while. Um, but before we get into that news. Um, I don't know if any people are keeping up with the stuff here in the United States. Um, and mentally, spiritually, emotionally can break you down. Because I've heard about it over the past couple of days. I don't want to bring it up. I'm going to get to these ones too. One has to do with a really, really cool dude. Marquise Brown Lee. Some people are trying to freaking cancel the dude this dude's like my person been a black version of pewdiepie he is ginormously mega huge he's been around since like 2006 or five he was already doing youtube as a job way back when i was still like sophomore junior senior year in high school so he was doing this to gig for a mega long ass time way before i was even on there so he's been doing this game for a long time he does a lot of products for apple and samsung a lot of digital technology stuff product reviews and stuff with like electric vehicle reviews and like he did one with the cyber truck review too so i was wild so i got that news and a little bit of windows central news from like bethesda shatters thing like they did starlink dlc called shatter space and the real cool stuff like that i'm gonna get to this one in a little bit uh -oh. oh yeah nintendo unfortunately taking out let's plays and emulators but this is the real extra sad one here you guys can leave now if you want because it's gonna get very somber um if I have any like viewers, watchers, subscribers right now, just look at me in there right now because it's try real serious for you guys out there. Um, I had never seen it. I know Florida, California, they always get held all the time in all those other areas like Cuba, Puerto Rico, a lot of the Caribbean areas, the hurricanes and typhoons always happen. I hate talking about this. This isn't my usual content that I do, but it left 100 people, 60 people gone unalive from this earth. And much they put them in an early grave, sadly. And I could get with the whole conspiracy theories things with Harper and, and Diaper, unfortunately, that happens. It's a whole other different thing. I can't even talk about it here. I probably could talk about Rumble, Bitch, You'd Not a See, but I cannot talk about it all here on YouTube. It's those old school conspiracy theories of how weather satellites can control and manipulate and create giant ass tornadoes and hurricanes out of nowhere within one second. And these lead people make a lot of money off of that too. I don't know if it was natural that actually happened or if it was 
scarily enough, by the machines, man. Like, if any of you guys ever saw that old Gerard Butler movie, Geostorm, with Gerard Butler, I'll leave a link to the Wikipedia down below. My personal opinion, that's pretty how these storms get created. I know it sounds, oh, psychopath and conspiracy theory, you're a psychopath. Insane person to think that, but some of my personal opinion, I feel like that's what happens when these hurricane storms happen every September, October. It's sad. But yeah, I'm not going to show you the video, but it is... I'm probably going to have to block it, too, because look at the chaos and destruction that shit caused, bro. And this was sad as hell, too. I'm probably going to have to block this whole thing, so I'll leave the links down below if you want to see it yourself. The chaos is insane, bro. It's sombering as hell. Look at all this, bro. It's no more things anymore. It literally tore out the whole thing. Any North South Carolina people, I don't know how you're watching my video right now. I don't know. You got a generator, backup generator. I hope the Red Cross is taking good care of you and Salvation Army is taking care of you. I know some people say, oh, they're a scam. They're just going to steal and take your money away. I hope not, but it is bad. It is monumental. You know, I've never seen roads, all these bridges, roads, parts of the roads on the edges of certain mountains. They were all ripped apart like nothing. They were just completely gone, gone. I never seen that in my entire effing life. I see it with the mudslides. I was just seeing that on the news in Oregon, California, Washington, when it happens a lot. Thank God it doesn't happen here. The only two things I got to worry about is tremors once in a while that happen. God forbid an earthquake. Um, that and a burning hot ass sun. Because over here, if you don't know, I live in, in between Arizona and Nevada border. Out here, it's like between, it usually should be like 60, 80 degrees. It's still like 98, 102 degrees. We're still going to deal with 103, 105 degrees. We've never had that ever in our life. Going to October 8th. And by the time you guys are seeing this, is October 2nd. I still got to do it with six more days in the burning hot sun. I've never seen after like 23 to about 25 years of living here. I've never seen it extend triple digit heat like that in my life. And that's some scary shit. I'm not trying to get an Armageddon. Um... Book of Revelation, all that shit, but I believe that that's the times we're living in. Not trying to scare fear monger people, YouTube algorithm, or people that are going to try to be bots and flag this video. Oh, you're fear mongering. You're scaring people to get all gypped up. Nah. My personal opinion, I always got the, not the fear of God, but like, I show why with Jesus God, he's protecting me. And he hopefully protects you guys. North South Carolina, parts of Tennessee, I heard they got hit really, really extra bad in Georgia and Florida. You, a lot of your stuff is too. Ripped to shreds. It is sad as hell, bro. So if I had any subscribers or watching out there, and if, whether you're atheist or not, just put atheism religion to the side. Hopefully, Jesus God protects you guys big time. I pray they protect you big time, man. And hopefully nothing gets you. Survive on your own right now. Get as much food, water, as much cans. Hopefully you got a lot of cans. Hopefully you got a shit ton of shelter, shit ton of clothing, shit ton of bath water that's clean. If you can get that, watch out for the crocodiles and sharks around there too. Because I know in parts of Tennessee, I don't know if it's Florida or Tennessee, I don't know if North South Carolina has those, but watch out big time for those. Because over here in Vegas, we don't have that, thank God. But anyways, let's get some more, not somber news, but crazier news. I didn't want that. Yeah, Brown Lee. I'm just going to read the things here. It says, destroy this garbage or delete this garbage. Marquise Brown Lee gets, yeah, gets, um, da da da. Negative reviews on his new tech venture, popular content cut creator, MKBHD, for criticism on the panels from Mashable. You guys can read it yourself. This one then had a good reviews. I'm surprised. Starfield game. Bethesda tries to hype up is so much that it falls to short. So much that it just falls short. Starfield Shattered Space DLC is a mixed review. Some people say it's the best thing of all time. Some people say it's the worst DLC update of all time. I don't want to talk about video game industry news that much anymore like I used to, but it's fun to talk about once in a while. Xbox Review says it's a handcrafted world. So far, the reception for Starfield DLC has been very lukewarm. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just going to read like two or three of them. Most reviewers appreciate the Star Shield Shatter Space as a center on one location allows some deeper roleplay meaning compared to the ocean size based game. Though it might be a layman of Paltry among the overall content, many reviewers for the Xbox and Microsoft Store version of DLC specifically mentioning not being able to start the expansion. So keep in mind, you were going, if you were thinking of picking it up one of these game platforms. Here's the thing, I never really cared about stuff like that. No offense to anybody that happens to be like a 
Starfield, Bethesda, Skyrim, PC Gamer, Fallout thing. I don't hate the shit out of those franchises. I just didn't grow up playing any of those. So any of you guys that grew up playing with it, good for you. You're probably grown men in your 20s, 30s, early 40s still playing it. You guys and girls. You're probably still playing it. You were sucked in that world. Like Dishonor 1, 2, and 3 was like the only ones I liked from Bethesda. And that Indiana Jones game is probably going to be cool as hell too. Who knows? I remember playing like the Fallout 6 New Vegas one. And after that, it just fell off. It just never resonated with me that much. They did the whole Amazon show thing for it. That was kick-ass. But at the same time, it's like, I don't say I hate it, but it's kind of like a mediocre, lukewarm like franchises to me for Bethesda. Ma. I think that's for people that grew up with a lot of PC gamers. I wasn't a PC gamer growing up as a 90s, 2000s kid teenager, so it resonates probably a lot more with people that, work, that played Bethesda way longer. That are the MMORPG, sort of like LARPing sort of lifestyles. That wasn't my cup of tea. I don't have hatred towards it. I don't have any hatred to Elder Scrolls fans, no hatred to Fallout or dishonor fans just it kind of bored the hell out of me bro it, it was just bland shit the loop looper movie not looper but that one where it had the boomerang where it had the two black chicks and the one black guy that was the main like character i'll leave the link down below if i remember like what it was called that was the last good game but doesn't mean even had a bunch of glitches but does is really known for a fallout series of skyrim and elder scrolls having a shit ton of bugs and glitches i still love like that's that's why a lot of pc gamers always fix that shit up it has massively good storytelling, but for me, it just, it has always kind of fell short. And this one right here, Nintendo, man. This is like from uh, Gaming Linux OP, so. This was the thing here. It was bad. Nintendo Switch emulator, I'm probably going to butcher, butcher this one. Ryu Jinx gets shut down. So, well, there's happening, there it is happening again with Yuzu's. <laughs> I forgot that happened in March, April, I think, earlier this year. It was a while, but... Many wonder what will happen. Now Nintendo's just shutting down Nintendo Switch emulator Rio Jinx earlier today, or was yesterday now, or a few days ago. GitHub page vanished a 404 error and I found with some of the confusion amongst contributors. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. The contributors. Yada, yada. <clears throat> but now it's been confirmed. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, so I wanted this to go over a half hour, so I just got about 25 minutes. I stated in the post, the original creator was contacted by Nintendo and other agreement to see if they stopped working in it and removed everything related to Rio Jinx. It should be noted that this is an announcement that comes from another contributor. I'm not going to say that name. I'm just going to call it Perry Perry. Mm. Oh, ripping Perry Perry. I get the joke. It's from a Reddit user. I ain't surprised. So most people are freaking, in my personal opinion, fucking just like 4chan or some of them. Real unhinged motherfuckers, dirty ass motherfuckers. Real, real extra negative more than me. Some are nice positive ones, who knows? Not only the real drinks creators, that's why they have that old like memes. I'm actually, it's yes, actually, it's yeah. You know, they want to be right about every single thing in the world. It's bad. So this is what they said yesterday. GK Cham was GDK Cham. Contacted by Nintendo and offering an agreement to start working when the project removed the organization released its Woo! All related assets he's can control it. If this is true, that's well, unless it's disinformation that sucks. While awaiting the confirmation on whether or not this agreement would have the organization will be removed, so I think this is safe to say the outcome is rather than you leave it on the only panic of speculation, I decided that I'd write this message about giving some of the closure. The words are, these words are my own. I do just not speak for everyone else, so just remember this while reading it. Thank you to at hashtag AOL symbol everyone who contributed to this code documentation of issues or reports of the project. Thank you for all you were following throughout this development. I was able to learn a lot of neat things about this game, and I love to enjoy them without renewed, renewed qualities and unique circumstances. I'm sure all you guys have experienced are similarly the same, special, similarly special. I'm extending my own massive thanks to our moderators, moderation team, mods. <laughs> I ain't fucking surprised. I've been here throughout some of the roughest circumstances and always found ways to make the light of it. And this thing goes on for a little while. Yeah. That sucks badly. So that's sad. Nintendo, they take one step further and text us back. But that's how they are with their company, man. And then this one, this is wild, man. 
I'm surprised they're going to do it. Whatever Bethesda fans do, they're going to do. Todd Howard, pfft, they're gonna, probably going to want Todd Howard's stake in a freak ahead and say as scary as hell as that is. And that's it. I'm going to do the outro. I'm just going to say peace out on the shower. Listen, guys, you can inside. Take it easy. Stay safe. I'm gone. I'm getting the hell out of here. This is goodbye. Don't take any of the jab or the big pharma shit or the jab or the, any of the poison. They're starting to push that again because it's flu season, unfortunately. Don't take any of the hydrogel, any of that other shit, or the CRISPR, any of that scary-ass shot stuff. All right. Take care. Have a good one. Have a good-ass time. Have a good-ass day. Goodbye. See you in the next future video. I'm gone. Take it easy, everyone. They didn't work to commentary and see you guys in the next video. Whenever um reaction review segment I do. Have a good one. Uh, have a good night. See you in the next future commentary video. I'm out of here. Take it easy, everyone. Bye.